one, but it still feels like the first. Yes, you did. For a killing the bee, you did. Might have been maybe before killing the bee, to be quite honest. And you look the same. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. Thank you so much. So this dress is by the Navin sisters, who are two twin or I mean, uh, the two twin sisters, they like make dresses out of their homes. And they're really, I mean, I, love, I thought the dress is beautiful. They use a lot of color in all their designs. And so I just thought it's simple, but the color is like pow, and luckily it worked out. Um, and then as far as growing up in this industry and starting out as a kid, um, it could be difficulties just as far as, you know, people like movies like The Killing the Bee, that really, a lot of people identify me with that movie. And now that I'm an adult, sometimes it's hard for people to realize that I'm not a little kid anymore. So sometimes that can be a little bit like, you know, I'm growing up, I'm growing up, but I never want to rush it, because then it'll all, all, all fall apart, you know what I mean? So I just slowly take my time and, you know, like in Joyful Noise, I think people slowly start to see, oh, Kiki's growing up, and I'll continue to do that. Eventually, you know, I'll be Kiki Palmer, the child actor that grew into an adult actress. But I never like to rush it, you know, just take it nice and slow. Yes. That was my first on screen makeout. Oh my gosh, I was petrified, you guys. Petrified. It was just like, you know what I mean? Not just like a big old baby, like that was my first kiss in life, but it was just. I mean, his shirt was off, he threw me on a table. And I know that I'm an actress, but sometimes when it gets to intense things like that, it's hard for me to take myself out of my mind. So even though I knew that I didn't like him, I couldn't pretend, it was like the first few takes, I couldn't pretend that I did. And I was like, Kiki, you gotta get out your head, girl. I know in real life this is your friend, but you gotta pretend you're in love with him. So I just, you know, turned it all around and... No, he was not hard on the eyes. Hey, Jeremy. <laughs> getting ready for a pre Grammy party. And um, it was honestly when I first heard it, my mom was like, what is gone? I'm like, what is gone? I thought I was like, what? Like it was like a complete shock to the point where I couldn't even feel it anymore. Cause I mean, Whitney Houston is the same age as my father. Well, she was the same age as my father. And my dad is up and moving and on with life. So for me too, it's almost like, how could that be? You know what I mean? That's such a young age. And for it to have passed, it was like, I mean, unbelievable. And then a few minutes later, it you know kind of resonated with me, and I of course cried. But I mean, it's just no words. There's no words you can express. It was the same situation with Michael Jackson. It's like, how can this be? How can this be? You ask yourself a hundred times, how can this be? But it's one of those situations where you have to accept it and um, you know honor her and everything that she did and how she encouraged and inspired people all around the world. Um, but it's a tragedy. Remember, for her, for her, uh, remember her for that voice and how she made you feel when she sang like I mean if she could be singing a song like one of my favorite Whitney Houston songs is I Wanna Dance With Somebody and even though that song is very fun and I wanna dance with somebody I feel like so I feel like I'm going through so many different emotions when I'm hearing it I feel like I wanna live life I wanna live free I wanna enjoy my youth I wanna go places I wanna meet people I wanna be free that, even though that's not what she's saying just the way that she the conviction that she had in what she was singing you know sometimes it's hard even though the music these days we have good music too sometimes it's hard to find an artist that has that same emotion and feeling and that you know expression in their music so when you think about somebody like Whitney you just think about that think about how she made you feel and um the stamp, her music, how it stamped times in your life. I know people listen to Whitney Houston song and oh, I remember I was rolling down a friend with Gina and Leah and we were laughing, you know, thinking about that one guy, like, does he really love me? You know what I mean? Like, just remember those moments and cherish those times. That would be the last question. Thank you, Kiki. Oh, thank you. Bye, guys.